Hey guys, it's me with my responses to your questions. Um, I'm sorry, this is kind of a little sketchier than my webcam. My webcam is not working. I've been trying to record for like an hour and it just keeps just kind of turning off in the middle, you know, which is so reliable. But thank you for all your great questions. Um, I'm going to try to get around to answering as many in a broad spectrum as I think. So let's just uh, get started. Um, Katie M. Thrower on Facebook wants to know how is it hanging out with all of the Glee Project kids and how were the music video shoots? I love hanging out with everybody. They're great. Uh, it's a fun bunch of kids. We hung out in New York um, last week for the Glee Project premiere and that was just super fun. And there was usually lots of guitar and ukulele jamming and ridiculous jokey fun, so I miss them. Um, oh, the music video shoots. They're great. I love music video shoots. I mean, when we walked into Firework, it was like, oh my god, this is so legit. I was freaking out. I was like, we have Eric White, who is an award-winning music director. <laughs> no big deal, you know. And um, it's it was just incredible. Like cameras and extras and everything was so professional. It was a, a great chance to have this taste of what real film industry is like. And of course, we're not going to tell you it was my favorite music video because you know I did get like this whole shot where I got to kiss a cute boy. So there you go. That's <laughs> there's a positive of. The TV business, I mean, really, it was just an incredible experience, the music videos. Um, Marcina May Dube asks, who would you consider your inspiration? I think it's Dube. It could be Dune. I can't read my own handwriting. Um, my parents are really inspiring. They have always been, like, you know, supporting me, following my dreams. They were never like, maybe you should try something other than music. They're always like, yeah, let's go do music. And I'm like, okay, awesome. So thanks to my parents for that. And then, uh... Ella Fitzgerald's voice is inspiring, and Patsy Cline's music, her songs just kind of, I connect to them a lot. And then, of course, Idina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth, I love them. I love to watch all of their performances, so. Um, uh, Jason Buon, convenience segue, asks, what Broadway musical would you want to be in? Wicked! I love Wicked so much. Um, it's actually the reason that I got into performing. I went and saw Wicked with my mom when I was like 12. And as soon as the house lights went up and Defying Gravity was over, I turned to my mom and I said, I want to do that. I'm going to be on that stage one day. And she was like, okay, honey, can you sing? <laughs> so I, really, if it wasn't for Wicked, I would never have gotten into performing. And so I would never have gotten here. So I would love to be in Wicked, but I would love to be in any show. I mean, really, I just musical theater would just be so much fun. That was my, my first musical love. So I would, I would just adore that. I think I would be a good Annie. You could just make me a ginger and get my hair all curly. It'd be great. <laughs> um, Miss Erin Murphy on YouTube asks, what are your plans for the future? This fall I'm going to go to Columbia College Chicago and pursue a vocal ma performance major or a vocal jazz major. And um, I am going to try and perform in jazz clubs downtown and get some demo CDs just in case a record company would like to look at me and look for auditions around the country to go to. And uh, I'm actually going to record um, a demo later tonight of The Scarlet Tide, which I do have a little video of on YouTube. Go check it out. <laughs> um, but this one's going to have three-part harmony on the chorus. It's going to be pretty legit. And um, I'm going to try and get some of my piano compositions up there too, so you can see um, besides just my arranging, the, what, what I have written. So that's what I'm planning to do for now. Um, <laughs> Abby Marie One wants to know, were there any bromances on the show? Damien and Cameron have a huge bromance. Like, I think all the guys were really, you know, very bromancy, but <laughs> Damien and Cameron, and they know it too, they're always like, bromance. So, <laughs> um, Mr. Kelly's Corner wants to know, do you like time travel movies or sci-fi? I am such a nerd, I can't even tell you, and very proud. You can't see... But behind you, there is a poster for the anime Fruits Basket, and then a giant Lord of the Rings Return of the King poster, which I, tomorrow um, I'm going to go see the extended version of the Two Towers in theaters with my, best, my bestie and my mom. Um, it's so cool. We, last week was the Fellowship, and next week will be the Return of the King. It's just a whole series of... Oh, I'm so excited. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, my favorite time travel movie is definitely by Back to the Future. Oh my god. What a great trilogy, but that first one, I could just watch it over and over again. It's my childhood right there watching Back to the Future. I, I just got into Doctor Who, too. Anybody like Doctor Who? Love Doctor Who. Don't tell me what happens in the mid-season finale, because I haven't seen it yet, and I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Um, I also love sci-fi so much. I saw the Star Trek movie, the new one, like eight times in theaters. That's not even an exaggeration. So sci-fi, fantasy, anime, time travel, what you name it, I love it. Um, Lou Duc asks, can you speak French? No, I cannot. I know au revoir and shot. Done.
<laughs> uh, Measle Ellie asks how nerve-wracking was it to sing for Ryan Murphy that first time around. It was so stressful. I thought I was gonna die. Like, <laughs> I was just having a heart attack. I, my only experience in, in singing and performing was doing musical theater in high school. And just, you know, plays in high school. That was it. And so just to be on the stage performing for Ryan Murphy was so intimidating. But the second time around, it was, I was a lot more comfortable and, and confident and just enjoying my performance. And, um, but really, it is a great experience overall. I got to perform for Ryan Murphy, so that's just great. Um, Burn Baby Burn 092 asks, will we see you again in other Glee stuff? I'm going to try to go out for open auditions for Glee and just keep going. I have not given up on Glee. You better not give up on me, Glee. Um, Kojiro Densetsu asks, are you still single? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Hey, boys. Um, Stacey Reynolds from Facebook asks, can y'all please sing Michael Bublé? I love Michael Bublé. Other than my dream to be on Broadway and be my own jazz singer, I would love to open for Michael Bublé. If you're watching this, Michael Bublé, I love you. Um, please let me open for you. You are fantastic. <laughs> I don't think I can even pick a favorite Michael Bublé song. I just love all of them. I don't know. Feeling Good and Haven't Met You at Yet are, are up there at the top. Um, um, Genevieve Castle asks, what was it like being in the bottom three again last night? Oh, it sucked. Like, just let me tell you. I mean, it, it, the bottom three is always a terrible experience, but... I knew that I, did, I thought I deserved to be there the first week, you know, but um, the second time around, I was just mad. <laughs> I was like, um, what am I doing here now? I know I did well, so, but I mean, I, 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 I saw that their critique was really my attitude, and so I, I knew then that no amount of performing was going to save me from going home, but overall, it still really is a great experience to be in the bottom three, because you get more attention. Um, between Idina and Darren, this is Katie Mulno, she, uh, she asks, uh, between Idina and Darren, Who'd you like most? I love you, Darren Chris. You're a sweetheart, but I have worshipped Idina Menzel since I was like 12. So when she came in, I, I wet my pants a little bit. And then when she said nice things, I wet my pants a little bit more. <laughs> and then Alex won, and I was like, oh, check on me, I wish it was me, oh my god. <laughs> um, no hard feelings, Alex, but I'm gonna kill you. Um, Sean Dudley on Facebook asks, how much of the wardrobe that you wore on the show was your own? Um, a lot of my clothes were my own, um, but the stuff from Bad Romance was all wardrobe, but they made sure to really find stuff that I liked, and I was, I was very picky. I was like, that's not me, that's not me, that's not me, no. But they really, uh, we really got along, and I think they had fun dressing me up in all sorts of weird stuff. Um, Raven Ashley Ninja wants me to say, Hate is gonna hate, but ball is gonna ball. Because I said it last night on my Twitter. And that's the truth. Hate is gonna hate, but ball is gonna ball. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your great questions and your support. I love you, and I hope to see you around. Look for some videos up soon. Um, look for some videos up soon. Thanks, guys.